What are the four symptoms? Does anybody know the four symptoms of positive ion pollution? What's the first symptom of, of positive ions? The very first thing that happens to the human consciousness. Low energy. No, low energy is part of it. Depression. Depression's part of it. First thing is indecision. You become indecisive. You can't make up your mind. You're with a group, right? Energy comes from, you know, feelings, what's better than a good feeling comes from three different places, right? Number one source of feelings is air, right? Air is your first source of feelings. If you don't believe me, hold your breath for five minutes, okay? Number two is the mutual induction from each other's aura fields, right? The feeling we get from each other is number two, and number three is, is food. You can put poison in your body, you might last eight or ten hours. You can fight amongst yourself, you might leave it for four or five hours. But you hold your breath, immediately you have problems. Okay? Indecision is number one. Two? Two is each other. Each person in here has an aura field, just like the earth has an aura field. If you take a wire, an ordinary piece of wire, right, connect it to a battery, you have a magnetic line of energy parallel right angles with that. Okay? If you take an ordinary wire, once again, disconnect the battery, right, and just hold a magnet with a north and south pole near it. Magnetic or electricity is reinduced in the wire. So any time a wire conducts current, the electrical energy is present. In your body, you have 72,000 wires. They're called nerves. The center of the wire is called an axon. The outside of the wire, the insulation is called the myelin sheath. It's lecithin. When you're under stress, you wear down that lecithin, your nerves start fraying. When your nerves start, start fraying, the first symptom is tinnitus, ringing in the ears. Pretty soon it's ringing in the head. You get up tight, irritable. Lecithin is something that goes with phosphorus. Phosphorus, sodium, and potassium work together. These are sodium, potassium, phosphorus pumps that pump electrical energy through your body. Whenever you have one wire with a magnetic field, you have another wire with a magnetic field. If one wire had a magnetic field pattern of six inches, two would have a, a pattern of 36 inches. Three, 64 inches. It, 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 it does not geometrically, it's logarithmically energy field increases in a logarithmic level that means then if it's mutual induction if I have so much power in my body and I come up here to this lady right here and she has so much power and we reach agreement our group energy art is more than two people it's like four it squares and three people and six people this gives you group energy this is where your feelings come from this is how where your personalities come from for example Phoenix has a personality. Tucson has a personality. It's different than L.A. It's different than New York City. Why? Because in New York City, they breathe a different air ion content. They eat different foods. They have different behavioral patterns because of the summation of their environment. So now you begin to see how personalities develop. But unfortunately, the personalities that are developing because of the sum total of our environment are in the down negative direction. The Earth has a magnetic field. If you hold a compass in your hand, it points to the north, doesn't it? You don't think that doesn't have an effect on your body? It has a tremendous effect on your body. That's why when you go to sleep at night, if you're in a, in a non-hostile environment, your brain uses up 80% of its nutrition while you sleep. And if it's not working properly, you never reach rapid eye movement sleep. You don't dream anymore because your bodies are too toxic. All of these things are factors in the Global 2000 report and what we're doing to our environment. All right, the first symptom is indecision. Sleep. You don't right. The second symptom of positive ion poisoning all right, is shortening of the attention span. How many of you notice your attention span isn't as great as it used to be? All right. It gets much greater. If you take the proper preventative measures, the attention span of a 40 or 50 year old, or take a 75 or 80 year old like Betty Lee Morales, who I'm sure some of you know, who's the chairman of the NHF, is way greater than it was when you were in your 20s and 30s if you take the preventative measures, okay? The next symptom is paranoia, okay? The third symptom of positive ion poisoning is paranoia. Why? Because number one, your body can't reproduce cells, so it begins to starve, so you feel claustrophobic. You're closing in, your cells are closing in on themselves. When you go into a, sto a department store, for example, do you ever notice the sinking feeling that you get in there? Because the negative ions are about 25 negative ions per cubic centimeter. Okay, a building structure like this is probably about 50. Go downstairs on our booth and get in front of those ion machines or any of those ion machines and breathe those, and your feelings go right up like they would if you're on top of a mountain. Because negative ions come from pine needles, from thunderstorms, waterfalls, seashores, these kinds of places. Okay, you've got to understand what's happening. 
The fourth symptom of positive ion pollution is what happened to Flight 401. Miami, flight between New York and Miami, right? Flies right in the ground. No probable cause of crash. 75 people were killed on the Eastern Airlines flight a few years ago. The, the FAA investigated it, and as a result of that, even before that, all the submarines in the Navy, all the fighter airplanes in the Air Force, all the spaceships that I worked on at NASA all had negative ion generation equipment. Why? Because you get this temporary lapse of consciousness. Temporary lapse of consciousness can be in a conversation you're having with your friend when you suddenly hesitate and you're lost for words and you ask the person who you were just speaking to a moment before, remind me what I was talking about. Temporary lapse of consciousness occurs when you're driving your car up to a stop sign. You look both ways, there's nobody there, and you pull out in the intersection some Somebody is suddenly screeching to a halt because they're almost run into you because you didn't see them. All of those are temporary parts and lapses in consciousness, okay? Now, let's look at what we can do about this, okay? These are some of the things that I have learned to do. First of all, understand how our bodies work. First of all, our bodies are mineral. 5% of our body in minerals controls 95% of our metabolic function. Then what happens is we go, now we've got to realize that on the earth, 75% of our minerals have been depleted. Uh, we've already done that starting back in the 30s with the dust storms and dust bowls. Our body then needs a proper pH for the mineral to enter into the bloodstream, right? This is where enzymes come in. Enzymes are pH sensitive. However, they're also sensitive to temperature, all right? That's why frozen foods, when you put them in, out of the freezer, don't have a taste to them. Okay. Now, what we have done is we have found ways to re-enhance foods and substances to help alleviate some of these problems. For example, as many people like to laugh at the pyramid, one of the greatest things that the pyramid could do is restore the taste, working on an enzymic level. Take frozen food and put it in a pyramid, and it defrosts, the taste comes back. Why? Because the pyramid balances pH. You can put it over grapefruit juice, the most bitter grapefruit juice, for five minutes, and it turns sweet. Instant test. Any, anybody can understand that because you're relating to the five senses now. Now we go to vitamins. All right. The next thing that are important are vitamins. Vitamins are units of light. Our body basically requires seven rays of light, and it converts the seven rays of light into 12 metabolic functions, which then powers up 49 subfunctions and makes all our cells work. That's why a vitamin is in a brown jar, because the light gets in, the light goes out, it escapes. Now, vitamin formulation is something that I've gotten into, and some of the new age types people like myself have gotten into, and we've learned about synergism. You need synergistic vitamins. For example, so 47% of America is deficient on vitamin A, you take vitamin A, it doesn't do you any good. Why? Because it's going to putrefy in your body, in your large intestine, your small intestine. You can't assimilate vitamin A by itself unless you're eating a carrot. you got to eat one carrot to get 10,000 units. Most people won't take the time to eat a carrot. Why? Because you got to chew it. People don't like to chew. They like to gulp and run. Is that not true? So you have to take vitamin A with vitamin E. Vitamin E acts like an emulsifier. But vitamin E doesn't go in your body unless you put lecithin with it, right? In order for lecithin to work properly, you need selenium. So you take vitamin A, E, lecithin, and selenium and put them in and cause them to work in a time release with something else and that synergism. Now you can assimilate. The next thing people don't realize is sunlight. Now if we're clouding up you know, you know, it's like heart attacks. People my age are having heart attacks now, right? Obviously because vitamin E regulates cholesterol, right? But what else does heart need? Heart needs calcium, right? Without calcium, the heart can't produce actin. Every time the heart beats, actin is produced. You can't absorb calcium unless you have vitamin D in your body, right? The body takes one square inch of skin and, and from the sunlight and absorbs 18 international units of vitamin D if we have sunlight. Now, we found that by taking a pyramid and putting plants in it and putting it in the closet, the plants will grow four times larger and healthier than the plants in the sunlight. One of my colleagues says, well, the pyramid makes the plants grow healthier. I says, no, the pyramid allows the plants to grow normally. The ones in the sunlight should have grown the same, but we've interfered with the sunlight with our ozone layer, with the smog in the atmosphere, with the volcanic ash that's going up there, and the jet exhaust that's up there. So as a result, we don't get vitamin D. When you don't get vitamin D, you can't assimilate your calcium. I don't care what, how you take it. So in synergism vitamin formulation, you want to make sure that the A, E, lecithin, and D, which is another oil, are all together so you can absorb calcium 
which should be in a chelated form, pre-digested. This is what vitamin synergism is all about. Now we go on into protein, all right? The New Age vitamin formulas that you'll run into now, the ones that really know what's going on, have the eight essential amino acids in the vitamin formula along with the vitamins.